what I think is what what love is. Love is how you relate to people. We would live in totally different emotional landscapes. It'd be like a you know, it'd be like a man taking a walk in the woods with his dog. This is me. This is who I am. This is what I do and who I am and what I want to do. What feels hot to me that the person or the behavior that I can't keep myself from is so odd, so strange, so usually I repress it. And I am the dog in this. It was just an example. If I find myself attracted to a man with bushy eyebrows, or something even more strange, like a certain weakness, a vulnerability, so that I sense I can hurt him in a certain way and take him to me like a wounded animal. Hi. You be the dog then. All right then. I am the dog. And of course I feel embarrassed by it because people will think I'm a sick person. And, and I, I am a sick person. This has nothing to do with sex. Well, of course I'm, I'm talking about sex, about having sex with another person. But I get started on a sentence and that leads to another sentence. And the first thing I know is that I'm trying to follow it through, you know, the logic of it, work it through to the end because I'm afraid that if I stop or if I don't get through what I'm saying before someone interrupts me, they won't understand what I'm saying. And what I'm saying isn't necessarily wrong. It might be, but not necessarily. And even if it is, I'd be glad to be corrected or change my mind. But if I get stuck, I get confused. I don't remember where I was or how to get back to the end of what I was saying. I sometimes think I scare people because of the thing I'm like, so determined, just barging ahead, and I'm really a sensitive person, whereas in truth, I am!